Welcome back to the Meadows, folks, for Game 4 of the 2020 World Series. The Great Lakes Gators have a 2-1 series lead over my Wildcats. The Gators trying to win their first World Series in franchise history. Well, we're trying to stay alive, and we've got Games 4 today and 5 if necessary. It's Day 2 of the World Series. We played Games 1 through 3 yesterday and 4 and 5 here today, and it's a scorcher. It's approaching 90 degrees here in Brighton, Michigan at the Meadows. Uh, we're going to do whatever it takes on the Wildcats end to stay alive, uh, extend the series a little bit more, try to bring it to a game five. And the Gators are trying to close it out. Two great teams. We both have the same rosters here today. 3v3 whiffs. I'm super excited. Uh, but it's kind of sad because, you know, this is the last day of the 2020 season. But it's mixed feelings because we have a big opportunity in front of us as well as the Gators. Daniel, how are the Gators looking today? What were your overall thoughts um, after game three, um, you know, them taking that 2-1 lead? Yeah, Kyle, the Gators really impressed me yesterday. You know, being down one game and then getting the next two, that was huge for them. Cheatham looked really good on the mound and at the plate with that big three-run home run. Uh, I think the story today will be how will the Wildcats hit. You know, Sailor had that one home run yesterday. Kyle looking to get his first home run in the World Series today. Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing, too, is we just were so close to his, his fastballs dropping down in the zone. We were just missing it by an inch, uh, popping up a lot to right field. And we have to keep an eye on that super curve that ended my game three as a brutal strikeout froze me. Uh, I think what the deciding factor here today is going to be is whoever makes the best adjustments from day one. That was a big thing for us in 2018, uh, just in terms of pitch selection and um, you know, overall focus at the plate each and every at bat. I think whoever makes that adjustment at the plate uh, is going to be victorious today in the World Series. Daniel, would you, um, would you agree with that? Yeah, I would agree. I think definitely you went over it. I think the biggest thing for the Wildcats today is to get to Chris Cheatham on the mound because then they'd have to go back to Jorgensen. You guys saw Jorgensen really well, so I think that's a big X factor. And one last thing, the home run ball. I say it all the time, but every time there's a home run hit in the World Series, I always feel like it's a game changer, a series changer. Uh, definitely changes the momentum of the series. And the Gators have it right now. They're trying to win their first World Series ever in franchise history. And we're trying to lengthen the series to Game 5. Game 4 of the 2020 World Series. Here we go. Let's go down to the field now for some player interviews. Chris Cheatham, you are a beast. I have to say, even though we're playing against each other, you can hit everything I throw. And it's really, it's really hard to get you out. So how do you win the World Series? With the Gators today, big opportunity in front of you guys. I think it's going to take a really big start from us in the first inning for sure. I need to be dominant in my first inning on the mound as the home team. I need to come out, fire in, throw strikes, get outs, don't allow Saylor to hit an absolute bomb off me. <laughs> I think those are the keys for us. All right, my guy Nick Saylor here with me today. Now we're down 2-1 in the series. We've got to win game four to stay alive to extend it to a game five. Give me like the number one key that's going to take to do that today. Just number one key is just going to be getting on base. Get, uh, Kyle's going to go out there. He's going to give it everything he got. I know that. But we got to get on base. We got to get to Cheatham or uh, Jorgie, whoever's pitching. But we're going to have to get to them, get on base, and get us around, get some runs. Sounds good, Nick. Game four of the 2020 World Series. Here we go. Here we go. Game four underway. Swing and a miss. Cheatham got him on the drop ball. Nice drop ball. Two down. Yes, Left field. Brian Kelly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. One nothing Wildcats. Ryan Kelly. Who would have thought? A bomb to left field. Unbelievable. Yes, Kelly. Fair. Yes, Kelly. Fair. Fair. Got a nice pitch. Cheat him. Gets Kyle to end the inning, but Ryan Kelly goes yard. One to nothing, Wildcats. Right field, ground ball. Ryan Kelly has trouble with it. Base hit for Cheatham. Lead off, man on for the Gators. Three and one to Jorgensen. Inside, ball four. Popped up, Kyle's under it. Got it, one down. Two and two count. Nice pitch, got him on the drop ball. Two down. Full count to Jorgensen. Just low, but he swung. Kyle Schultz gets out of the jam. Still one to nothing Wildcats. 
O2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. The slider. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch from Cheatham. Puts up a zero on the board, one nothing still. Got him, yes he did. One down. Ground ball to left field. And he is safe at first base. Kyle Schultz with a bobble and a base hit for Chris Cheatham. Safe. Three one to Jorgensen. Just missed. Ball four. First and second now for the Gators. One one pitch. Ground ball up the middle. As a fair ball, is it? The ruling on the field is a base hit for Brennan Zerlag. Got him. What a pitch from Kyle Schultz. Two down. Full count, bases loaded. Just high, and the Gators tie up the game. One to one, still with two outs. Two and two to Zerlag. Riser got him. Big pitch from Kyle, limits the damage. One to one, going to the top of the third inning. See if the Wildcats can put some more on the board. Ground ball left side. No play, and it's out of play. Base hit for Sailor, and he's now on second base. Wildcats got something going now. Nice slider. What a pitch. One down. 1-2 to Kyle Schultz. Tipped it into center field. Caught by Jorgensen. Just got a piece of it. And there's two outs now. You intend... Wait, wait, what? They're walking Nick. Intentionally walked Nick Saylor once again. Brings up Ryan Kelly. Just low. And Ryan Kelly walks. Bases loaded now for Kyle Schultz. Ground ball left side. Sell it. He's out at third. He's out at third. It was not a peg play, so the run does not score at home. What a play by the Gators defense. Out. Out. The game is still one to one and the Gators now are in control in the bottom of the third. What a play. All right, Chris Cheatham leads it off for the Gators. One to one game. Single run would win it for the Gators. Center field, is it gonna carry? It's gone! First pitch! Chris Cheatham, oh my goodness! First pitch to Chris Cheatham. Are you kidding me? Go! The Great Lakes Skaters have won the 2020 World Series. First in franchise history. Unbelievable. First pitch to Chris Cheatham. Unbelievable. Gators win it in four. Hats off to the Wildcats. Great series overall. But the Gators come through when they need it.
of MLW Wiffle Ball, I present the 2020 World Series trophy to the Great Lakes Gators. There you go, boys. Woo! Let's go. All right, let's get some picks. All right, boys, not the way we wanted it to end. I put some blame on myself. Obviously, Cheatham had a phenomenal series all around. Kelly, I mean, you're the man. Home run in a crucial game. Sailor, you're a beast. Crucial hits all season long. I'll go to Kelly first. Season's over. Uh, how would you wrap it up? Uh, I believe you had a very good series, uh, season in my mind. How would you assess it? Uh, you know, it was fun. We had a good time. Uh, it was cool after missing out on the playoffs last year to be able to come back and uh, win some games again and kind of show what we can do. So. Um, but yeah, I mean, shout out to Chris Cheatham. I think it's got to be one of the best World Series performances ever. I'm, I'm a little upset, but very impressed. So uh, they got a good team. Sailor, about you? Great season, man. I'm still vowing for you for rookie of the year. Obviously, Cheatham's got a, a run. He's got a case for himself. But dude, honestly, like when I drafted you, you exceeded my expectations. Phenomenal season, bro. Thank you, Kyle, for everything. Uh, first off, congrats to the Gators. They came out and played a re really great series. Congrats to them. And this this season was just fun. You know, I've been watching this league my whole, whole ent uh, entire life. And just to be out here playing with everybody and meeting everybody was awesome. So thank you, all you guys, for a great season. And thanks for everybody for watching. It's been a pleasure. And as for me, I'm mentally and physically drained. Let's yeah, get to the Gator interview. Great Lakes Gators, unbelievable team. One of the best we've seen in our league's history. Zerlag, when you drafted these boys, I'll go to you first. Did you ever think this is a possibility? Like, I'm sure it exceeded all your expectations. A near-perfect season. How do you feel? You know, I feel great. Uh, this is not honestly what I expected. I expected it to take a couple of years. You know, rookies never come in this fully dominant. But uh, it's a great feeling. Couldn't ask for anything more, honestly. The draft picks did what they needed to do. <laughs> and Jorgensen, uh, I mean, you're a beast. Number one overall pick, and you panned out, I have to say. How do you feel? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely coming into the season, I did not expect to be here right now. I mean... I just I didn't think that this whole rookie class would be that good and we all just all of us were really clicking and uh, me and Chris signing up both getting drafted so like made a great move and it worked out and now we're here and Chris Cheatham the man of the hour walk off to win it how you feel bro I couldn't pitch you all day long you're just a beast oh man I'm sweating my butt off right now it was a uh, really hot out there today and after Georgie tackled me you know knees a little sore but uh it was all worth it in the end uh just a crazy season all around some ups and some downs but in the playoffs we really showed out and it was awesome man I that's one more thing to say. yeah yeah oh no <laughs> Drew Davis 11 to the zero win this season <laughs> that's gonna do it for the video guys thank you for watching all season long get your your champs subscribe in that corner last video in that corner uh, merch, attorney signups, podcast, that will all be linked in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.